Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void! This is a game between Clone and Rex on King Sejong Station, the latter edition. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Rex! And at the top left side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player. It is Clone! Hmm, so this is Into the Void, our examination of Bronze and Silver League gameplay. Yes, some of you have expressed, why do you cast this stuff, Falcon? What is going on? It's because I like to give everybody the spotlight, man. I just like anybody, no matter who you are, no, ma no matter what level of StarCraft 2 you can play to have a chance to get cast on YouTube and feel special, even if you might get made fun of a little bit. But yeah, that's the idea here. We have Midrake Madness for those middle-of-the-road players, or most people are. Actually, we have Into the Void for the really low B newbie players, and then we do master stuff, GM stuff, pro stuff the majority of the time, but we do like to give some time to these players who are solo on the ladder, but trying to improve. That's what it's all about. So look at this. Again, I'd like to say not all players are like we saw last week, where those guys had no idea what they were doing. Zero percent. This guy right here, Rex, he knows you go hatch first against Terran. He knows you get an extractor, then you get a pool. So far, so good for the Red Terran player. Meanwhile, Blue... or Red Terran. Red Zerg player. Meanwhile, Blue Terran player looks all the world like he's doing a Reaper expand, doing fairly well with it. He has a lot of gas here. Again, the timings are not perfect, but the basic concept is here. You want to have about 50 minerals or gas ready to go as soon as this barracks pops. You want to make the Reaper as soon as you can. You have enough to do it, although did go for a factory first. So actually went for a factory, so that explains why there was so much gas there, and then doesn't do anything with the barracks, pops down a reactor, and still nothing out. So this is a little bit scary. I mean, at the lower levels, it is possible or more likely to see Ling rushes out of your opponent, out of your Zerg opponent. So the wall off is good here, but man, if Ling showed up now, as they could, if the pool, it was a pool first type play, they'd be knocking down your wall. You wouldn't have anything to do except for try to repair it and wait for this reactor to finish, wait for this factory to finish, and I think you might just straight up die. So I do recommend, as a, from a Terran perspective, getting a Reaper out first, getting a couple Marines out first, and then going for your add-on, but... You know, at this point it worked out, so I can't say it's an instant way to die here. Lings are moving out. There are four of them, and speed is coming up too. Again, Rex recognizing that speedlings are infinitely better than slowlings in StarCraft 2. Immediately, oh, did he swap? Oh, look at that swap from Clone. So Swap built the barracks, built the reactor on the barracks, then lifted it off and landed the factory over there so you could double pump. Hellions, what an absolutely great play. Nicely done, Clone. So far, I think Clone might be winning this battle. Barracks on the way. Armory on the way. What is that armory for? Ooh, quick, quick armory. What needs an armory? Uh, Thors? Thors do. Hellbat transformation does. Is it going to be a Hellbat push from Clone? Hmm. All right. All right, again, I know some of you guys wonder, how come the, just the, the, the level of play seems to vary so much? And into the void. I think it's just because that's the reality of it. I think there are players in silver who are better than other players in silver. Eventually they'll get out, obviously, because if they're better, then you'll move to the top. Queens are here. Injects not looking that fantastic. But there we go. Popped one out there. Very, very well done in indeed by Rex. Spreading creep. Has overlords in positions to scout. These are all things you need to do as Zerg to win the game. Meanwhile. Plus one vehicle weapons on the way. I think you might just Hellbat transformation these things. Hellbat mode. Run them down as Hellions because they're faster that way. And then transfer them to Hellbat mode and just go to town. And I think he would just straight up win the game if he managed to do that. Because right now, I mean, Hellbats are great against Lings. Are great against Queens. If there are Roaches, that might be a problem. Banelings, better as well against Hellbats. A couple Marines do chase away the attempted scout here. But what did Rex see, right? What did Rex see? Uh, he did see the armory. Okay, so again, that tells him Thors, that tells him Hellbats, that tells him some really, really early upgrades for biological units. But here comes Clone, and he just might... I mean, he might just win right here. So here we go! Da -da -da, Hellions moving across the map. Plus one vehicle weapons, about 50% complete. Will not be of use during this attack at all. Hellbat transformation. Yes. No, don't try to... I mean, you have a lot of Hellions, right? So you're good. You can kill that queen. Bam! Burns are alive. But there it is. There's the Hellbat transformation. It reminds me of Transformers every time. All right. Coming right on in here and just getting... Look at that splash damage. One queen dies immediately. Ling's trying to come in from the backside and actually doing more damage than they should. 
not being focused very well, but look at that fiery carcass bunch that absolutely that's that's what was left there of our friend rex marching right into the mineral line here there's a spine crawler on the way but not there yet good snipe the queen does take down one of the weakened hellbats there and not quite sure what you're doing there clone get that queen before she kills you yes does manage to get it all harvesting has completely stopped at this main base but that's a lot of roaches on the way roaches are the what what you want in this situation. There we go. Roaches pop right on out instantly there. Defender's advantage coming into play. One Hellbat, two Hellbats, three, four, and five Hellbats gone. Rex manages to survive. That was a great drone pull too. Pulled the drones away and then immediately moves them back. This is nuts. APM for these players, not super high. On average, about 100 for Rex, round 81 for Clone. But still, the decision making is very good. It is very good indeed. Starport on the way, gonna land on that reactor, double pumping something. I don't know what it is. It could be Liberators. It could be Vikings. It could be Medivacs. Those are three options of what could be double pumped there. Roach is pushing across the map for some harassment of their own. And they might be fairly successful. There's just nothing here. I don't see an expansion from Clone, which is an obstacle here. You really do want to expand. I know the Hellbat attack was good, but at this point... At this point, things are looking like they're going to move into more of a macro-style game. So, Roaches are over here with their friend, the Overlord, that could be transformed into a Drop Lord here, but did not happen at all. Instead, the Roaches are going to try to sneak on in the back door the traditional way. Again, he doesn't know there's not a base here. I think he's assuming that there is. If he didn't know there was a base there, he'd probably just walk up. Or if he did know there wasn't a base there, he'd probably just walk up here. But whatever, as it stands, preemptively taking these extractors as Rex, which is kind of a waste of drones. Uh, I mean, you can start those way after this hatchery is under construction, and you'll be just fine. Sacrificing true drones to sit here and do nothing for this long actually hurts quite a bit in these matches where things are so darn close. Lair on the way for Rex. That will finish momentarily. Going ahead and getting plus one carapace and plus one missile attack. Some speedlings moving on up this way. That's a big group of marines and marauders, especially a lot of marauders with medevac support. But not double pumping. Mind you, not double pumping medevacs. There's a Liberator coming up too. There's that command center. Okay, so second command center is on the way. That is not a good look for those roaches, and Rex knows it. Way too many marauders with stim. Ah, goodbye, roach number one. Gonna chase these guys down. They don't have Galil reconstitution. Oh, man, they might just slowly get whittled down here. The concussive shell picking them off, forcing roaches to stay back and just get destroyed. And Rex does decide to actually turn around and try to kill something. Might as well take out a couple marines rather than just getting hunted down like dogs and murdered. But that's pretty much what happened there. Some Lings try to come in and do stuff. Heading back home, one does get caught and escapes at the same time. Banelings here. Banelings against Marauders. Not a fantastic choice, but that's a lot of Lings. Lings with uh, Spinecrawler support might be good, but coming down to the third base, great choice by Clone. Moving right on down, and yes, going to be able to take out this third base unless... The Lings get here within the next three seconds. One, two, three. Isn't enough. No, takes it down. Takes it down. Pick up and run. Clone, you got to pick some. Yes, picks up what he can and runs. A lot of dead stuff here for sure. But killing that third was a masterful stroke. Nicely done. Liberator sets up shop. Says anybody wants to come over here, you're going to have to deal with me. That is for sure, which means you can't. Well, you couldn't actually come down and take that base because the Liberator had set up a circle of death there. But it moved. The Liberator now moved, getting some shots from the Queen. Run, Queen, run. Get out of there. It's so hard to see this until you're getting shot at, and then everything is going to pot. A Zerg, I could definitely sympathize with what is happening here for Rex. Baneling Nest taking shots. A lot of Lings coming on in. They don't care about the Liberator at all. You need something to deal with, though. Spore Crawler is a good choice. I'm not sure how many more Liberators there will be, but as it stands, this one has 14 kills. Yes, a lot of those are Liberators, but there are six drones that have been killed so far, and I think all of those are due. Don't walk into the circle for no reason. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, so one Ling died. Could have been a lot worse there. Medivac decides to head on home. No problems that way. Hatch up here now for Rex. Is probably going to get scouted by this Medivac, unfortunately, for the Zerg player. Terran player still hasn't expanded. You have a command center. At the very least, make this an orbital command and use mules but as it stands if it's sitting there doing nothing it is worthless to you so lift it up land it somewhere you especially when you're attacking like this sport caller did take down the liberator eventually but six only six drones still six drones have been killed huh surprisingly low number there's 23 to 23 workers and the zerg player has a base advantage 
I mean, I don't know how to make it any more clear than that. Thor on the way, so more than one use for that armory. Thor coming out of this factory. Two Thors, no less. All right. All right, all right. I like Thors. I like Thors in these lobby matchups, too, because I feel like they're more effective. So here we go. Banelings. Lings. Is this a droplet? It is! Oh, wait. Is it? No. Nope. Just kidding. Wait. No, not. Okay, I have a hard time. In that backside, it looked like it had the, uh, but it didn't. Ling's trying to come in, wrapping around, and Baneling's good micro. Look at that micro from Clone. Not allowing that to happen. Focusing down the Baneling. This guy's been watching Colt, man. That was pretty darn good. Yeah, you lost a few units, but then when there were that many Banelings threatening your front door and you lost, like, three Marines, that is excellent, excellent play. Medivac, zero health, or energy, rather. Not really available to do anything else right now. Is healing as best she can, but you really should have more Medivacs than this and you are double pumping them so that's a-okay thor here and is this the updated thor yes the high impact payload so that's the one activates the thor's 250 millimeter punisher cannons punisher cannons strike a single air target for heavy damage so that was changed this actually makes them more effective against things like broodlords against carriers against battle cruisers big time super heavy air units liberators too not bad in that situation so we'll see how the thors are used still good against light units still good against muta still good against phoenix um but right now a little bit more utility i don't think they changed their ground attack at all nope that's still about 30 times two plus one giving him 33 times two which is 66 which hits pretty darn hard income 23 to 37 rex doing a good job droning behind that attack no it wasn't super successful but if you drone while you're attacking that does keep the terran player on their own base and does not allow them to come and kill you so that's excellent. Infestation Pit. This is good stuff from Rex. Infestation Pit coming up now. Evolution Chamber, a plus one, plus one on the way for the Lings and the Banelings and Ultras, if that's the plan. Centrifugal Hooks on the way, making the Banelings that much more fast when trying to chase after these Marines and these Marauders. And Hellbats on the way too for Clone. I mean, yes, a lot of Hellbats died in that first attack, but no reason to abandon them still. A very good unit, especially if your opponent is going pretty heavy on lings, as it appears Rex is. 17 lings here, 9 bane lings. It's just, again, army size is not that big. That's one of the things that tells you this is an Into the Void game, is that we're 12 minutes in right now, and army supply is like, two, I mean, like 2,000 and 3,500, so not that big. Not especially compared to players like Snoot, like Polt, um, like a laser, things we've seen recently. That's okay, though. That is just fine. Clone is pushing on out with his army plus one plus one has completed combat shield is done as well and the units do have stim so here we go pushing up here this base is in a lot of trouble that's a lot of marines an amazing concave queen dies immediately liberator shows up as well misses most of the party kills a single baneling the baneling's crashing on in oh the marine massacre is way too big roach is doing very well here one thor does explode but another one's still alive marines giving some additional dps support and pushing on in, Lings trying to do what they can. Do manage to kill absolutely nothing. Liberator with seven kills. Everybody that walks through that circle does get absolutely massacred. This base in a lot of trouble now for Rex. Losing that third. Not good. Not good at all. Still needs something to deal with the Liberator play. Clone seems to be very interested in doing that. On the Lynx around. Oh, did you not think you could take that Thor? No, 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 no. Lings are good against Thors. Maybe the Broodlings will kill the Thor. Holy smokes, Broodlings killed the Thor! <laughs> That's not something you say in average games. Alright, so that is Broodlings destroying a Thor on the creep. That's fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful. Alright, alright. We're going to stop, like, uh, obsessing with that one. Alright, so Roachling, Baneling here. Not a bad composition from Rex, but once again, you need something to do with the Liberators. You need some Corruptors. You need at least some Ravagers, some Hydras would be good. Something that can attack up is going to be a very good choice here. Because as it stands, this Liberator has 15 kills and there's really nothing threatening it at this point, unfortunately. What is... So we have a Liberator there. We have a, a new army coming up for Clone, Marines, Hellbats, Medivacs here. Plus two Missile Attack on the way. Upgrades continuing for Rex. It's just your roach upgrades aren't going to help you very much when it turns out there are these giant siege tanks in the air trying to wreck you. Ling's moving on out. Again, Clone not doing a great job expanding, but spending his money fairly well. So it's not like he really needs three or four bases. Oh, there we go. There's an expansion. Clone is taking a third. 
Liberator setting up shop at this base. Once again, nothing really to deal with this. The Queen is going to try to get it, but it's two shots. Okay, three. Three shots from a Liberator, and it's completely gone. Lings do force a pause here. Might force a cancel, depending on... No, they're not. They don't have enough DPS to do it. Get roasted out there. The command center is still alive, and the replacement SCV will come down to try to finish it off, even though its predecessor was ruthlessly murdered by Zerglings on the frozen tundra. Is this guy still going? Yeah, 25 kills. No big deal. No biggie. Rex still showing no signs of dealing with this at all. Yeah, there's a spore crawler, and that's fantastic, and it'll probably kill this liberator, but it already has that many kills. 17 drone kills thus far. And here it is, Bailings on top of everything once again. Roaches, Liberator nowhere to be seen. It did end up dead. This is a lot of ground units doing a great, fantastic job. The Roaches just clean on through. Some units do get picked up and boosted out and run away, but that was very, very well handled indeed by Rex. So it's 24 to 41 Harvesters. Rex has lost a lot. 17 SCV, or 17 drones, but does not let that slow him down at all. He has so many more bases than his opponent. He's going to go ahead and force a cancel there. There's the cancel. Wow, great stuff indeed from Rex. And is there anything here to defend for our Terran friend? He is producing stuff. He's getting Liberators, Widow Mines, Marines, Marauders. Infantry weapons level three on the way. Don't see that every day in Into the Void stuff. All right, Roaches, here we go. Trying to even the tally on the Worker's Lost tab there. Widow Mine shot's going to be a big deal. And, oh, there's an Overseer, though. Brought an Overseer, Rex. Rex, you madman. Why would you do that? Widow Mine shot does get zero kills, but it weakens a lot of these roaches. The units come in. The actual units do come in, Marines and Marauders, and threatened to finish it off. Rex decides to back on out. Wait for reinforcements. He is doing very well here. Getting plus three ground carapace for his roaches, making them eminently very survivable. However, the upgrades, again, even better. I think for clones. So here it is, income tab. Taking a look at it very, very much in favor of the Zerg player. 18 to 41 Harvesters, but do not count our blue Terran friend out. We have seen Terrans in worse positions come back and win games before. So here we go. Reinforcements continuing to stream across the map here. Getting a plus three missile attack, getting adrenal glands for those lings. They have any melee attacks? They do have plus two, plus two. This is nuts. Upgrades are excellent. Excellent for Rex. Look at this guy go. Roach is moving right on in, getting some shots off, deciding to back out. That's a good choice by Rex. Not a bad choice at all. I would prefer that he had this area scouted, this scouted. Uh, I guess he's doing a fair fairly good job scouting this, just to make sure that the Terran player doesn't take a third base under his nose. I love the expansion that Rex is doing, but you need to make sure there are not secret bases uh, elsewhere on the map. Rex expanding again, double expanding. He feels like he has the Terran player pinned, and... I can't necessarily disagree with him. So here we go. Banelings, roaches, lings, defender mode circles here. Absolutely nothing to handle these liberators. And that might be the downfall of Rex right here. I know he looks like he's in an excellent position. But his absolute refusal to deal with liberators with anything but spore crawlers might be a bit of a problem. Why is he going all the way back home? Is there an attack I didn't see? He goes all the way back home, leaving this base entirely undefended. Liberator is going to set up shop, probably keep that locked down for a while. Yes, I know he has this space, so he's not super worried about keeping this one. I assume that is what is in his mind anyway. A Liberator is trying to sneak on in here, and... Yeah, they're going to lock this base down too. No Spore Crawlers. Again, you know your opponent's using Liberators. Why? Why do you refuse to set any kind of of anti-air here. Spore Crawler on the way. It's late. None of you guys can attack up. Zero of you people can attack up. These Liberators are laying waste. Laying waste to your base. It is still, mind you, 18 to 31 Harvesters. There's still a healthy lead here. Army supply is 27, 39 or so. 3,900 for clone and about 5,000 for Rex. So again, Rex has a lead, but it is slowly, slowly getting whittled away here. That's a lot of dead drones. So many dead drones. Finally getting a Hydralisk Den and a Spire is Rex. Clone having a hard time spending his minerals. He should have about 1,800 Marines at this point if that was the case. Only 18 SCVs, though. He's not really replacing the ones that he's been losing. And here it is moving right on in. Marines versus Roaches and Banelings. The Widow Mines getting killed with the Overseer mixed on in here, too. The tank's getting evaporated. That tank from the backside trying to kill stuff. But it's 110 to 46 
Total supply. All the mules are completely dead. The income is gone. A Ling run by into that main base. That natural base, rather. Rex in complete control right now. Yes, you killed all my workers, he says, but I'm going to kill everything else that you have. And there's the GG. GG from Clone. Rex throws out the GG. Nice smiley face. Good manner from our Terran player. As the roaches march on in, and that's it. Rex is victorious. Yeah, there it is. What an absolutely great episode of Into the Void. I really enjoyed casting that one. I felt like Rex had some good things down, had some principles, but at the same time, definitely did not have a good handle on what the heck to do about Liberator. So hopefully he learned from that. And uh, hopefully the lesson was not just don't worry about it and you win anyway, because that's not a good lesson. That is a bad lesson to learn. Clone, on the other hand, I love the Hellbat attack. I just feel like once the Hellbat attack was over, he wasn't quite sure what to do. He did a good job with the Medivacs. He had Marines. He had Marauders. He just couldn't quite get his macro up. He took way too long to take his natural base. He really didn't ever get a third base up and established, and that hurt him immensely in Legacy of the Void. One base is not going to hit it for most situations, um, especially against a Zerg that macros as heavily as this guy Rex does. So... Well played to both these guys, but Rex gets the win, and the Swarm are the victors today. All right, so that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void. If you would like to submit a replay for consideration for Into the Void, go ahead and send it to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. I will check it out, send it to my screeners. They will watch it and determine if it is good enough to be cast. If it is, they'll send it back, and then I'll cast the ones that they determine are amazing. That's how it works. Thank you so much for your attention to detail. All right, so go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Broken and ashamed By what you have done There is no redemption And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole And you're running You can live A place you can know Is it just an illusion When push comes to shove There's a light upon you reason and all the way to the tone all around you the planets and stars you're lost in a maelstrom
Into the void 